the controlling inverted fullback. This type of fullback in the first phase, they tend to move into positions more traditionally occupied by the central midfielders or the pivot. I have seen various interaction of this either with two controlling fullbacks who allows the DM, which is the defensive midfielder, to temporarily drop into center to create a 3 2 structure in the first phase or maintain a 2 3 as well. Or if they are paired with a defensive inverted fullback, they would just invert alongside with the pivot. Now maintain a 3 2 shape. These regions of the pitch tend to be difficult to operate in as high pressing teams especially look to shut down the pivot as much as they can because the pivot or the pivots tend to dictate the play so that means to play as this type of player they have to be quite pressing resistant to avoid giving the ball away in crucial zones this means a high technical ability is required but also being able to operate in small spaces using short passes and generally awareness of where the opponent or the opposition is but where the deeper fullback can be much more consecutive with the ball the controller often has to be more adventurous opposition teams tend to occupy the natural pivot at all cost as they tend to be much better on the ball meaning that the fullback may be on it a lot more so they have to be willing to carry the responsibility of breaking the lines and progressing the ball into players who have shifted high up the pitch on the defensive end of things they tend to be quite solid knowing when to back up the press or drop deeper into central areas or fall back into their starting position as a fullback examples of these types of uh, inverted fullbacks or the inverted controlling fullbacks are alexandra arnold and zinchenko see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel like and comment see you in the next video bye